And that reminds me of the example of Prophet Keith Moore. There were a group of Arabs who followed the advice given in the Quran, in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, which says, Fas'alu ahali zikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. If you don't know, ask the person who possesses the knowledge. So these group of Arabs, they collected all the material in the Quran and the Hadith, which speaks about embryology, and they presented it to Professor Dr. Keith Moore, who at that time, in the early 80s, 1980s, he was one of the persons who was the authority in the field of embryology. And he was the head of the Department of Anatomy in the University of Toronto. So they presented the translation of the various verses of the Quran to Prophet Keith Moore. And they asked him that, what are your comments? So after going through the translation of the various verses of the Quran and the Hadith, he said that most of the information given in the Quran is in perfect conformity with modern embryology. But there are a few verses which I cannot say that they are correct. Neither can I say they are wrong because I myself do not know about it. And two such verses were the first two verses of the Quran to be revealed from Surah Ikra, Surah Alaq, chapter number 96, verse number 1 and 2, which says, Ikra bismi rabbika allazi khalaq, khalaq al insana min alaq. Read, recite, and proclaim in the name of thy Lord who created, who created the human beings from something which clings a leech like substance. The Arabic word alaq means something which clings. It even means a congealed clot of blood. It also means a leech like substance. So Prophet Keith Moore said, I do not know whether the embryo in the initial stages looks like a leech or not. So he went in his laboratory and under a very powerful microscope, he observed the early stages of the embryo and compared it with a photograph of a leech. And he was astonished at the striking resemblance. And later on, when about 80 questions were asked to him, he said, at that time, in the early 1980s, that if you would have asked these questions to me 30 years ago, I would not be able to answer more than 50% because embryology is a new branch of medicine which has developed. And he is the author of a very famous book, The Developing Human. And whatever additional material he acquired from the Quran Hadith, he incorporated it in his third edition, The Developing Human Being, and he got an award for the best medical book written by a single author in that year. And when I was in a medical college in the 1980s, in the first year of medicine, in the subject of embryology, if we wanted to score high marks, we used to refer to the developing human, the book written by Professor Dr. Keith Moore. If we wanted just passing marks, we used to refer to the book written by Dr. Inderbir Singh. You know, just pass. If you want to score high marks, then we have to read the book Developing Human by Professor Keith Moore. And this book, later on, was translated into several languages of the world. And Professor Keith Moore said, I have got no objection in agreeing that this Quran, it has to be the word of the Creator Almighty God. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he has to be the messenger of this God Almighty.